This looks like a fun and kitschy fun booth. Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in Dayton, Ohio at the Antiques Village. So it's a village full of antiques. So let's go in and see what we can find today. They are open daily, 10 to 7 p.m. Dayton, Ohio. Corner and I'm seeing the happy land of blow molds. <gasps> I've got this one. No, I have the cats. This one's $38. I'm not gonna get $38, but look at the little, the little, oh! are you? $32. Aww. But you are a little fun little pixie on a cart. These are fun. These these little ghosties here. There's several of them. Well, there's just two. And I like the gravestone one. I think that this booth might be a little spendy from the prices that I've seen. So hopefully that's not going to be well, he's $5 for the um, Humpty Dumpty. He's scary looking. It's got hair and ears. No price. Oh, does it have a price? Oh my gosh, he's cute. This is twelve dollars for this little guy. So look, there's tiger lions. Oh my gosh, I you know what? I've sold some of these at twenty dollars. These are they're Norway. They're trolls from Norway. These, don't have, these are Fire King mugs, but I'm wondering if one of them has a price. Of her though, she's $22, but I, I love, oh, this one's neat. I can't get away from this booth, it's $39. Oh, this place is quite large, isn't it? All right. Got a booth here, let's kind of walk through it. Sometimes if you're shopping for reads, for resale. You can kind of tell sometimes by the prices on smaller things. Like, let's look at this little figurine of this little boy. He's cute. He is $10. That's telling me that's probably going to be a little spendy on everything else. We're going to look at the cases first. We don't normally do that. These are neat. These Sudan clothes. $12.95 for one. So we got a oh, little tawny, eight fifty cents. You know, these prices aren't too bad, really. Oh, these girls—they are these Erte. I've actually sold these for quite a bit of money. Like, um, well, I can't see any of the prices. This one's a hundred dollars, but they're very Art Deco. I think they were made by Franklin Mint, but I think the one I had was this one. Um, but they're beautiful. That's one of those examples that sometimes Franklin Mint, depending on what it is, isn't necessarily horribly bad. Oh, that's a cute little sewing caddy there with a bird. Look, you put the scissors right through his noggin. Oh, the Beatles, Sudsy. Oh, there's Casper. Oh, he's only $9.99. I like him. He's great for um, Halloween. Casper, the friendly ghost. I might want him, Mark. Casper, I see, I see you back there, Santa. You're coming up soon, but right now I'm just thinking about ghosties. Kind of like Casper for me. I'll pay $9.99 for me. Ride Dan's bike. That'd be the great way to shop in here. You just get a bike. Got a basket on the back and just ride around and fill it up with your stuff. Oh, what are, those are cool. Those are Italian. Italian spaghetti cats for $80. Don't see those every day. <gasps> or these. Oh my goodness. They're barbershop quartet, guys. Sweet Adeline, my Adeline. By the light of the silvery moon. And for he's a jolly good fellow. They are made in Japan, old man ashtray. So they look like barbershop quartet to me, but they, you put your cigarette in their mouth and the smoke comes out of their ears. $58 for the set of three, which doesn't seem like it's too bad. Careful there, Trigger. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, these are Francoma. Uh, um, for $20, the TP salt and pepper shakers. Look at this guy up here. 
recipe is Lucky Pierre by Sarko. He's $25, but he's smoking a cigarette. <laughs> they don't make toys like that nowadays, do they? And he's smoking a pipe. So they're two little smoking, smoking toys. It's a beautiful oak buffet, and it's so funny because I have one in the shop that's really pretty close to the same look of it. I'm not seeing the price anywhere, but I was looking, trying to find the price, but then I saw this little string pole puppy. He's $35, but so you'd put your string in there and you'd pull the string out of his nose, but then he has a little, little loop right there where you can put your scissors. Holt Howard had the Cozy Kittens one, but, oh, this is, I think, oh, Jeffrey just bought one of these. Is it Orchids? Yeah, Orchids of Hawaii. Oh my gosh, $20. Oh my gosh. He paid, he paid a lot more for his. How much is this one? This one's $15 for the cup. Oh man. Yeah, I may have to get this guy. This one, I was looking at these a little bit closer, but this one's made in Taiwan, so it's, it's it's not as old as this one. This one's made in Japan. They're both orchids of Hawaii. This one's $15 for the tiki cup. I may... I don't know. I, I'm conflicted because I'm not... I'm, I'm like... I, I kind of just want... I'm not really wanting to buy like summery things and I know Hawaii is summer all the time, but like in my mindset. So I think I'm going to wait. I'm going to pass on that. I did see this string pull too. String along with me, which I think is adorable. It's $30. It says it's hand painted in California. So it's California pottery piece, but you pull the string out of the bottom there, but I don't know. I just thought it was really... Thirty dollars, though. Oh, I don't think I can do that. Not for resale. Oh, well, hello, fella. Not for resale. But I'm also seeing up here these sweet little guys. Oh, these are hull. Oh, you get both of them for twenty dollars. I just really like them. They are hull. You can see there on the bottom. I don't think this booth is having a sale, but they're little. They're little swans with little handkerchiefs on. These are hull too. I have those actually. Oh, there's a seltzer bottle. There is a lot of cool things in this booth. And like, I love how they have those lug those suitcases hung on the wall like that. How much do they want for those? Forty dollars. Do you know they've done all the work for you? You don't have to cut the, your suitcase in half. I really like that. This one's 40 and that one's 35. But see, I'd show those to Mark and he's, he'll be like, oh, I can do that. But yeah, that, but that's already done. That's my point. This is already done. You got, all you gotta do is hang it on your wall. I thought about getting these little girls, but I'm not cause she's got a chip on the back of her handkerchief. So we're gonna leave them here, but they're so cute. This is a reproduction poster, but it's, thank God I had my goggles on. <laughs> oh gosh. I mean, at least he saved his eyes, I guess. Wow. It says it was originally produced in 1927. It's $9. See, I see things like this and it reminds me, I think Mr. Retro's needs this in his life, but I, don't, I think I'm gonna pass. I'm opening up this cabinet here and inside I'm seeing a little Angie Pixie. And he is $3. He is made in occupied Japan, and I'm thinking I have to have him. Take me home, Misty. I love you. All right, this booth right here, I see this cute little black cat. I think that this probably is Morton Pottery. It's $8, but it's perfect for this time of year, so I'm going to get him. And I also had seen this little Mirano, and I almost bought one of these yesterday for really about the same price. I'm not going to get it today. I'm not seeing that this booth is on sale. So I'm going to set him back down. I did buy one similar yesterday, but I could have bought that exact same one, and I did not. So. I'm seeing over here my spy with my little eye, this little bored Prixie. He's on an ashtray, so he can, you can store your cigarettes down there, but I just want to look. 
he's just over being an ashtray boy. It's $24. If this was a fun color, I definitely would probably get it, but it's pretty neat still. It's very mid-century modern, but I don't know that I want to do $24 for it. No sale. Always, always, always look for a sale. And because, you know, booth, people who have booths that run sales periodically are the smart ones because you know why? They're going to get rid of their stuff and they'll be, make room for more. Yep, they sure will. This booth, they've got lots of spooky creations like this witch, this Barbie head. And I'm really, I'm having a hard time because I'm really liking her. I know, I know. She's $20, Mark hates her, but she's a witch. She's a little marionette, so she would have had like strings and stuff. Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> look at that. I love stuff like this. That's $18. They made this spooky baseball. And then, what other creations? We're gonna have to take, take it all in because it's just fun stuff in here. Oh look, it's anthropomorphic pumpkin. We've got Casper here. Oh look, the witch is flying on the Red Baron. And all this jewelry. This is cool, it's like a broken figurine. And she's put that, made that into a necklace. This is fun too. She's $10. She's like a like a Ginger Rogers girl. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's a half of a Barbie face. That's, that's a little creepy. Oh, and an ear. Oh, you didn't see it. Look. And look, this is an ear. An ear inside that. Oh my gosh, look. This is like that iconic home interior. I think a lot of people had this in their house in the 70s, but she's added all these little spooky. Look at the one riding the, the, the whole, tire. I <laughs> love the, oh my gosh. Now I want to find one of these, Mark, so you can do that. Mark is a good painter. He could, he could totally do that. I could not, but I really like this stuff. This is really, how much is this? It's $10 for the anthropomorphic. This is kind of neat too. This old mirror. It's kind of a spooky looking mirror. And she's put that picture of that child. It's $25. I'm, I really love people taking these old photos that you can get at the thrift stores. And uh, look at this one, snowy wood and adding your own creation to it. I love that. I've been the trying to, there. yeah, it's like Amy Winehouse. I've been trying to get Mark to do that for a long time with pictures, but time is of the essence. Oh my gosh, look at baby. That is okay, so she's $20 and she's $20. Which one should I get for myself, Mark, as my souvenir? I don't think there's any questions. <laughs> this one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait. Now, I think I like her better too. So here we have a poodle paint by number and it's $10. So I think I'm gonna get that, but I really love this Casper. How much is Casper? <coughs> Casper's 20. Everything I want really bad is $20. But yeah, this is really cool stuff. What? That little. Oh, the little thing, the little people down there. There's a moose paint by number. Also for 10. I like the moose too. I, I will get the poodle. All right, this hat needs a little bit of shaping, so I'm gonna have to shape it a little bit, but I'm getting three different hats. I have recently fallen in love with wearing hats. These are men's hats. Um, this one is London Fog. It's like a Papaw hat. So that one was $10. This one's also $10. Looks like a Ranger hat. And I really like this corduroy hat. It's like a green color. They need shaped up a little bit, but I am going to get the three hats for me. Because, oh, look at this hat. I can get this hat too. That's a little slu Oops. A little slugger. That's too small. Oh, look at that. That's a glass squirrel for $15. 
It says it's crystal. I'm going to go on a limb and say that it's not crystal, but it's a glass swirl, a squirrel. It's $15. You can put a little candle in there. Cute. We have a really cool can. It's Mr. Chips. It's a t potato chip can. It's this great color. S Master Chip Cincinnati, Ohio. I love this. This one's not a reproduction. It's $29. I'm very tempted, but I'm gonna pass today. But oh my gosh, look at him. He's a little he's a little tater chip. I also wanted to show this. This is the holiday pipe mixture. I love these. I have a couple of these myself, but they are great for resale. This one's $15. They're great to display, you know, in your displays at Christmas time. This one has pretty bad gnarly cur dent in on the back so if it were ten dollars i would definitely buy it but i'm not going to get it today i did see some little readers in here poems for little readers and does not have colored illustrations but i do like that they're not putting a sticker and they're using these cards for prices so this book is Twenty dollars, so it would be ten dollars. If it had colored pictures, I might be <laughs> birth control or the limitation of offspring. Okay, that's an interesting subject. Let's see. This is twenty dollars. Orthodox limit limit limitation of offspring. Let's see how this book starts out. What's the the subject on which we are about to discuss is one of transcendent importance. I know of no single question that is such far-reaching, vital importance of human race. Okay, that's interesting. This looks like a fun and kitschy fun booth. It's not on sale, but we'll check it out. I see these little these little sugar and salt and pepper sugar, sugar cream and salt and pepper shakers. Twenty nine dollars. It's a little it's a little over retail, but. We'll see what else we can find, if we can find anything. But you know what? Again, I say, it's sometimes you don't always have to find something. You just go and have a good time looking at things. I've tried on lots of hats today. It's It's been a fun experience here. This, it says, what does this say? $25 for the little Shawnee pig. All right. Well, let's keep Let's keep moving, Mark. We're gonna keep moving. Look, it's Maybell. Aw, we miss her. We've been away from her for two, almost three, well, three days. We miss our little baby, Maybell. This booth is neat. They have it set up sort of like a little, it's the rusty porch, sort of like a little diner. This is cool. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen, I wonder if they, but how if that came that way or if they had it made because these enamel tops are just perfect size for these benches that is really cool oh yeah so that's Those fun okay stations. um restaurant table with two benches 2.99 no it's now 160 which is a great price that is a really cute thing especially if you had like a little if you had a patio or a porch, a back porch. That would be, it would be a neat place to put that. I like the little chalkboard too. It's $129. Here we've got a little Blanco. It's a bear. It does have a sticker on it. It's $14. It's amber. It'd be great for the fall. So I'm gonna get this little guy. Mr. Merlin. Do you guys remember Mr. Merlin? I don't, do you remember Mr. Merlin? I do. I remember seeing him. I'm trying to see if the thermos is inside. I can't. I can't tell. I can't do it with one hand. And I've got. We've got to move. Mark's moving me because I've got people behind us. So we have to keep moving. Oh my gosh! Look at all these hats. <gasps> oh my gosh! It's a hat haven. It's hat haven. But here's the secret. Look at the men's hats because they're cheaper. At least they have been here. All right. So. We are going to saving all my love for you. All right, so we are getting ready to check out. We've only made it through halfway. We may end up coming back and going through the other half, but 
we're having a lunch date with somebody and so we're needing to head that way oh i see more hats this place is full of hats and i am loving it so we will meet up with our friend oh my gosh wait a minute <laughs> what in the world i mean <laughs> These are just the weird things that I like. They're $10. It's Mr. and Mrs. Claus coming out of flower. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put uh, these in the cart. But we're going to come back. So we'll put these in the cart. We're going to check out. And we'll probably come back uh, this afternoon. So I know that I said we were going to come back. But I'm not quite sure that we're going to have time to. So we only made it halfway through Antiques Village. If I do have time to come back, then I totally will. This is a really fun mall. It's laid out very nice. It isn't confusing. Sometimes you go into vendor malls and they're laid out kind of weird and you feel like you're kind of lost. This was nice. It was a really nice place. So if you are in the Dayton, Ohio area, make sure that you stop into Antiques Village. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. Everything that I bought today, I showed you. So if there's anything that you might be interested in other than the hats, because I'm keeping them. You can send me an email, thrifterjunk or vintage hunter at gmail.com, and I'll let you know if it's still available. And as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye. I'm just a girl, a wonderful girl, the sweetest one in town. Can search for miles around, and no one like me can be found. I've got a smile, a wonderful smile, in a certain little way.